hello, MTP number 29. So today I'm gonna to answer a bunch of questions. We have hundreds of questions and I, I don't want anybody to feel left out. So, um, they, and of course, what's the first question? The first question is, Dr. Perito, when are you going to come out with your thoughts on penile enlargement? So I speak about that MTP what, 26, which I think is being loaded up today, probably today, this week. Uh, so check that one out. If I don't answer all your questions, come back to me because uh, we're doing a bunch of stuff that's uh, still in, in the works uh, when it comes to enlargement. Second question, if, if a vacuum can help increase length, even marginally, is there a danger using it with an implant? It turns out that uh, I'm, on, I'm listed as an author on a paper written by uh, Antonini from Italy where he talks about using a VED after, after a penile implant, and, and it is beneficial, along with the exercises that I talk about, MTP 24. 24. So go back to MT, M, MTP 24 and go to my website, and you, you can pick up the paper that was published in the um, European Journal of Urology. So the next question. Uh, if a vacuum device can help increase length, even marginally, it, is there any danger of increasing to the point where the implant is too short? Well, recently, uh, my partner in, it, in Italy, Gabrielle Antonini, published with me an article uh, talking about using a VED after penile implant. And uh, yes, you do have great results if you do that, along with the exercises that I talk about in MTP number 24. And if you want that reference, go to my website and check it out. It's uh, European Journal of Urology. Next question. If you're on any kind of drug that compromises your immune system, whether you're a transplant patient or a patient with ulcerative colitis or something like that, is there an increased risk of infection? Surprisingly, including HIV, there's not. So, yeah, and, and that's very surprising, but there's a bunch of things that are very surprising when it comes to infection rates. Um, next, does the penis constrict, I love this one, constrict around the, the deflated cylinders or retract inwards towards your body when you're swimming in cold water? Uh, you will never have the Seinfeld shrinkage experience ever because your penis is always elongated uh, because the implant's in, in place. I love that question. Um, uh, good work. What is the importance of squeezing most of the fluid out of the implant when you're not using it? Imagine if you leave the implant inflated all the time. First thing, it, it tends to uh, cause pressure in areas where you don't need it all the time. Second thing is it numbs your penis. I'm sure everybody, everybody remembers when you're a kid and you had a, uh, an erection that lasted a long time. It's painful and it decreases your sensation when you want it most. So. Uh, I always say a happy penis is a deflated penis, so you have to deflate from front to middle to back and get every bit of fluid out when you're not using it. Um, let's see, for someone in their mid-30s, is there a limit to the number of times you can have an implant replaced? Well, uh, I've given the uh, data when it comes to life expectancy, I, I can't remember which MTP it was, for both implant companies. and. Truly, they're both great implants and they last for a long period of time. So hopefully you're, you're not getting repetitive um, um, uh, uh, implants over the times. So uh, I just got a cue from my producer. Um, finally, uh, does, it only, does the implant only give you an erection? Yes, it gives you a penetrating penis. That's what we're here to do, give you a penetrating penis. So uh, if that's our only goal, the implant does exactly that. It does not change your sensation, does not change the way you pee, does not change the way you exercise or live your life. It gives you a, a penetrating penis. So uh, that's probably what, seven of the questions of the hundreds that we have. I hope I covered a, a, you know, some of you guys and yeah, we have many more to come. So thank you and happy holidays. We'll see you over the Christmas time.